Hey everybody, my name is Travis. I'm an American expat living in Singapore. On this channel, we compare uh, life in Singapore to life in America, and today we are going grocery shopping. Um, if you're where I'm from on the East Coast, um, we have a lot of different grocery stores to choose from. On the high end, you'll have things like Whole Foods, uh, Wegmans, uh, places like that. And then as you you know tick down the the sort of you know quality and price you know, hierarchy, you get to places like Giant, Safeway, Food Lion, and then you have specialty stores. You have things like Trader Joe's, right? And Singapore is very similar to that. Uh, there's two big players in Singapore. There's Cold Storage and there is Fair Price. And both of them have kind of your kind of giant Safeway, Food Lion level stores. They also have uh, higher end stores like Whole Foods. So uh, Cold Storage is going to have Cold Storage Marketplace, that's going to be their higher end store. Fair Price has one called Fair Price Extra. And then also both of those chains have smaller satellite stores. Um, so the difference between uh, America or the main difference between uh, American grocery stores and Singapore is that there's simply more locations in Singapore. You're never more than a three or four block walk from a grocery store. Now some of those grocery stores are going to be quite small. They'll be the size of kind of a big 7-Eleven. But they're going to have all of your basics. They're going to have milk and eggs and bread and sugar and flour and you know all the things that you might need to, you know, bake a cake or make breakfast or, you know, put together a quick dinner. But then some locations will be much larger, the size that you might be used to, the size of like a giant food, right? And then you'll have some that are actually quite large, usually in places like Orchard, uh, where they're going to you know, have just really thick population centers where they're going to have a lot of different kinds of people. So what are we going to do today? We are going to go to the two grocery stores that are closest to my house. I have a cold storage and I also have two fair prices. We're only going to go to one of them. And we are going to basically look at prices and selection of a standard basket of goods, right? So sort of like the things you might buy on a regular basis. So we're going to be looking at bread, milk, a decent bag of coffee, broccoli, carrots, butter, beer and wine, and ice cream. Oh, and chicken. I forgot about chicken. Uh, and, you know, again, the grocery stores that we're going to are, these, these are nothing special. These are the kinds of grocery stores that you would see, you know, every couple of blocks um, all throughout the city. So what you're going to see today is, is very comparable to what you might find no matter where you chose to live in the city. But keep in mind, if you wanted to go to uh, more specialty stores, if you wanted to go to basically the Whole Foods of Singapore, those stores certainly exist. Uh, I live close to a place called Holland Village, uh, and Holland Village has several small grocery stores that specialize in a lot of Western goods. They specialize in a lot of hard to find things, things that you wouldn't find in, um, in cold storage or fair price. There's also throughout the city several really well-known butchers. So if you're looking for really good bacon, if you're looking for good sausage, things like that, you know, bratwurst, um, you know, I would recommend not buying them at places like cold storage, uh, but instead going to uh, butchers and other places that are gonna specialize in that kind of stuff. So, uh, so let's get going. Let's go down to the store and let's start looking at prices. Uh, just so you know though, I am just gonna be taking my phone with me and filming this on my phone. So please excuse the shoddy camera work and uh, the bad audio. Um, I'm just gonna be walking around the store showing you prices uh, as we go. It's also important to remember that all the prices you're gonna see when we go to the store are uh, in Singaporean currency. And the difference there is gonna be about 20%, a little bit more than 20%. So about $5 uh, in Singapore is about you know, $3.75 to $4 in USD. So just keep that in mind as you're looking at prices. All right, enough talking, let's go to the store. You always gotta represent when you go down to the grocery store, hometown bags, Whole Foods, Wegmans. Uh, one quick thing, they do charge for bags here, so it's always useful to bring your own uh, reusable bags. And it's good for the environment.
guys, so we are walking back to my place now. That was cold storage. Uh, you probably could tell that it's, a, it's in a mall. Um, and that's really common here for um, grocery stores to be in malls, usually in the basement. There's usually a few to choose from. But uh, so we're walking back to my place to drop these off and then we will be off to Fair Price. Uh, Fair Price is, um, you know, I would describe it as more of a local market. Um, you see a lot more uh, local Singaporeans um, and it's, it's still great. You can find great prices there. You can find um, a lot of wonderful produce there, um, but you're gonna find a lot of things there you won't find at cold storage. Um, and it's gonna be much more of a kind of Asian style market uh, with far fewer Western options.
that's it. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Tastes like home.